The sons of Bayamat are not generally known for their festive spirit, but there is one tribe who take their Everwinter celebrations very seriously. Hearing word of the festivities and never wanting to miss a stately function, a royal court of the flesh-eating abominations has tracked the Gargants. Will the sons of Bayamot greet their unanticipated guests with open arms? Or might the flesh-eater courts find themselves threatened with club or cane? Hello and welcome to a special episode of Season of War. Tonight we have a little uh, winter twist on this, visiting the Everwinter Wonderland, uh, actually using the fun uh, terrain rule set that Games Workshop released for Age of Sigmar, so we're playing with that today. And obviously, first and foremost, we had to bring out your Sons of Bayamot for this match, Oliver. It's like they're meant to play on this table. Yeah, like every match table. has been on this table. Yeah. and For the holidays. For the holidays. So it's perfect. Uh, so this is a little holiday special match for us tonight. So we're gonna have some fun. Uh, not only, I mean, still playing a good game of Age of Sigmar, but with a little twist using those uh, you know, special holiday rules on the terrain, the mysterious terrain rules. So uh, we'll see if it has an impact. Maybe some gifts will be handed out. Pretty festive. And we're playing Veins of Gur. Yep. So um, old Star Strike, uh, something coming down in the middle, then round it... two, and then yeah, on our quarters, round three along the central line somewhere. Hopefully, yeah, should be a good game here. Obviously, um, this actual match was voted on by our premium members. So again, uh, for against the Sons of Bayamot, Thank voted you. for the Flesh Eater Courts. Uh, so this will be a good match here. Hopefully the Flesh Eaters can put up a bit of a fight today. Uh, your winter Christmas Guardians have run rampant on this show in the past. So we'll, we'll, uh, we'll, see, we'll see. Put an end to it today. Crush that Christmas spirit. Yeah. Either way, it's going to be a lot of lot of fun. So uh, why don't we jump into yep. your list, Jordan? Yeah, for sure. So I'm running Blister Skin today, um, very similar to uh, the last list I ran, and just wanted to kind of bit, get familiar with it. Only played Flesh Eaters a couple times in AOS 3 so far. But um, for heroes, I have the Abhorrent Arch Regent, who is my general. I have a Dual King, then I have a Dual King on Zombie Dragon over here, and a Dual King on Terror Geist over here. Yeah. With a different assortment, obviously, of artifacts and whatnot, I have uh, the minus two bravery artifact on this, so Holy Within Six, which actually will help. help. It mm -hmm. helped me a ton against the Skaven. You're actually also not a high bravery army either, so nope. hopefully that Mortal Wound shooting can help me chew, chew through the Dardens. Mm -hmm. And that Terror Dice also has the Gruesome Bite to let me reroll his jaw attacks on the mount. And then for the sub faction artifact, I have Eye of Hish over on the Zombie Dragon, which is a minus one to hit aura and shooting and Hellish Orator on the Arch Regent, being my general. Otherwise, outside of those four heroes, I have two units of 10 duels and a unit of six players. So not a lot of bodies on the table to start with, but, but I've got a lot of summoning. There's a few over here. <laughs> yep, yeah. So I'll be able to summon, um, you know, like 20 duels, you know, a unit or two of, of flares, as well as like a Vardolf and, you know, different stuff, different options, but yeah, that'll help reinforce me a little bit here. No, I can't say I'm really too low of model count compared to you. Yeah, so uh, down to only uh, a total of seven seven models here. More uh, than ninety percent of the Sons of Bayamot armies, though. It's true, more than more than ninety percent. But I actually, am uh, down a, a whole giant there um, in in some other builds where you'll see the mm -hmm. at least the six um, little ones. So I'm running um, a. Uh, Breaker Tribe, mm -hmm. um, actually with two Gate Breakers, both Santa Claus and Mrs. Claus are both Gate Breakers. Santa Claus will be my general today because yep. it is uh, Christmas time. So he will have um, the Amulet of Destiny for that lovely five up ward. Yep. His uh, command trait will be monstrously tough for the extra five wounds. Um, the army trait that I'm taking for my Breaker Tribe is to get plus one to hit against characters. Yeah. Very useful in this matchup with yeah. uh, Jordan having four characters. Um, then um, Mrs. Claus will have the Arcane Tome um, because of the uh, battalion that they're both in, um, giving her Flaming Weapon as her spell. Um, we also have a cheeky little Geminids, yeah. um, which I'm excited to play with, um, see if we can knock off some command abilities from oh, affecting yeah. some units. Um, and then uh, two units or three units of um, man crushers, unit of three and two singles, uh, coming in at 1960 points. So I will get my inspired triumph yep. for my plus one to wound. Um, and my drops finished at 
three. Now it's four drop here. And See? even though Jordan did drop first uh, for you deployment, finished. Yep. I finished first and it will be my choice. And since spirit of giving, <laughs> we're gonna give it to <laughs> give it to good. Jordan okay. to take the first turn. Cool, well with that, then we can just jump right into things and we'll go into Flesh Eater Courts, turn one. The Flesh Eater battle tactic is Ferocious Advance. The Zombie Dragon fails Heroic Leadership, and the Gatebreaker General uses Heroic Willpower. The Ghoul King casts Metamorphosis on himself. The Arch Regent casts Mystic Shield on the Terrorgeist. The Arch Regent casts Ferocious Hunger on the Terrorgeist. The Terror Geist casts Unholy Vitality, but is unbound. The Zombie Dragon casts Malefic Hunger. The Zombie Dragon summons a Vargulf, and the Arch Regent summons a unit of Flares. The Flesh Eaters complete their battle tactic with Monsters, scoring 3 points. Alright, so Flesh Eaters turn 1. It was pretty uh, uneventful, to say the least. Obviously, you want to just run across the board and smash stuff up, but the threat of the double turn, especially with how far away you are, I'm fast, but I'm not that fast where I can comfortably get everything into you or no. all the pieces I would need into you. So being, obviously, you giving me first turn to set up the potential double turn, hope I walk into your ranges to let, you know, get smacked by you. I just had to play super defensive, castle up here, try and almost reset the game, where you're not, if you win priority or whoever wins priority, that's the first hit, not the potential second hit with the double. Yeah. So trying to use my uh, deranged brain uh, with the flesh ears as well as I can. Um, in the end, I did uh, ferocious advance with uh, turning my Gulkane into a monster, so that it gets me a bonus point. So I start off at three points here on turn one. Mm -hmm. And then I just put my arch region up by the uh, terrain piece and did a summon with two of my units, spending one command point. This one was for free. Mm -hmm. Bringing on three more flares and a Vargulf. So lots of bodies. Lots of bodies while well, starting to bring more on. I still have more summons though. And yeah, just trying to prepare and And not getting that extra point dry. because you changed your Aberrant Ghoul King into yeah. a monster is like, allows you to keep up with me. Yeah, for sure. For sure. And, uh, yeah, that's it. Not much to say. Again, barely move, just a little uh, jostling, but that's it for Flesh Eaters. So we'll just be going into Sons of Amot, turn one. Let's do it. The Gargant battle tactic is Ferocious Advance. The Gatebreaker fails heroic leadership, which the Arch Regent succeeds at. The Gatebreaker casts Mystic Shield on itself. The Arch Regent uses all of defense. The Gatebreaker uses all at attack and deals three damage to the Arch Regent. The Gargans complete their battle tactic with monsters, scoring three points. Right, so also an equally uh, <laughs> defensive and very uh, friendly Christmas turn. You at least moved forward. So, yeah. <laughs> at least a little bit. So, um, I claimed my uh, ferocious advance battle tactic here with the three units of man crushers. Yeah. 
and the hero phase, uh, made use of the um, festive train and yeah. got my plus one to cast, rolling a seven and, and tying Jordan's eight. So on uh, mine, so it made a difference. Made a difference, so um, got the Mystic Shield off on uh, mm -hmm. Mrs. Claus, um, which is helpful if I do lose uh, the turn here. Um, then uh, other hero phase, uh, nothing, uh, nothing too, too eventful for actually. There was nothing else in the hero phase. Yeah. Uh, just, just shot a rock and was able to hit the uh, ghoul, aberrant ghoul king, uh, um, who's arch regent, ar ar arch regent, who is behind the, um, the, the train, um, and put through three wounds after the, the ward giant save. stone yep. hit him yep. and one ward save. So. Yep. That was it. Um, so. Nothing too too big uh, out of charge range to even make some charges and we will go into a priority roll here yes first thing though do you want to roll um to see yes. where the let's do it uh, objective marker comes down we'll do one over here three over there yeah let's do it so uh we got three. a three ah that's Come unfortunate on. so that'll come down right over here i'll throw a marker down in a second this is where the first objective is and things will start to get interesting oh yes they will okay that's a one. That's a four. I'm actually, as risky as this might be, I'm going to give you the turn. Okay, sounds good. So, cool. have fun. All right, thank you. We'll just jump right into Flesh Eater's turn two. The Flesh Eater battle tactic is bring it down. The Ghoul King fails heroic leadership and the Gatebreaker uses their finest hour. The zombie dragon casts monstrous vigor, but is unbound. The terror geist casts spectral host on the flares. The ghoul king casts deranged transformation on the flares. The arch regent casts ferocious hunger on the terror geist. The arch regent casts mystic shield on the terror geist. The zombie dragon uses Lords of the Burning Skies to teleport itself. The Gatebreaker uses Redeploy, moving one inch. The Terror Geist summons a unit of Crypt Flayers. The Crypt Flayers deal three mortal wounds to the Gatebreaker. The Terror Geist deals two mortal wounds to the Gatebreaker. The Zombie Dragon deals four damage to the Man Crusher. The three flares, Zombie Dragon, and Terror Geist all fail their charge. Oof, that's rough, buddy. The Flesh Eaters hold no objectives and fail their battle tactic, scoring no points. All right, so Flesh Eater's turn two. Christmas has not been kind. No. Um, he, yeah, buffed everything up, moved everything forward to try and be aggressive. Obviously, there's the threat of the double, but I can't avoid you all game. But I, uh, four charges, I had no CP for rerolls, failed three of them. The only yeah. one I made was these six flares, and they're not going to do enough to take down uh, your Gargant. And, and then they're just getting hit in return. And your shooting phase was a little bit lackluster. Yeah, quite abysmal, especially the Mortal Wounds. was really hoping that, that would help me chew through the Dardance. Mm -hmm. I knew I, it was a long shot to go for the battle tactic, but there was really just no other achievable one. So, And I can still do like Broken Ranch or something or you know, um, mm -hmm. Slay the Warlord. So it's like there's still you know, potential more through the game. But turn two, like mm -hmm. turn one, turn two, are, are, there's not many options. No. Nope. Um, with this mission, just because there's no objectives. Um, and again, I put five bodies on here, but you already have 10. I needed to make another charge to get on there and then finish off the Gardent. Yeah. But again, didn't make either of those charges, so 
wasn't uh, much to do there. Unfortunate where that came down for me. And it's looking scary right now. Uh, yeah. First down the Dardens. I mean, I definitely giving away the turn was the right move. Oh, yeah. yep. um, based on, I had the luck of where the where the vein landed yeah. um, and that made a big difference. Yeah, so if I was more on this side where that's all my, and I was just running up and charging stuff over there, yeah. but, but having with, to pivot, I pivoted here turn one and put my strength all on this, you know, this, these two thirds, yeah. leaving this side. And that was uh, yeah. unfortunately where the objective came. If it came. went here, totally, totally different. Yep. And with Mrs. Claus on best day ever, plus Mystic yep. Shield, plus I could give another plus one. You're not going to go through it that. It wasn't, you know, maybe, I honestly, I, I didn't even think I could go through it with both of them. And then when I failed the Terror Dice charge, it's like just not even worth considering. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, not a great spot. Uh, you did redeploy, which means you won't be able to use the Mystic Actually, that terrain. the redeploy of the one inch was enough to stop the Terror Guys getting in. Yes, so it, was. it was. Yep, yep. So that, that's, that was uh, big. But again, it does stop you from using the. It does, yeah. Terrain. So I won't, I won't get that. No diffs next turn. Yeah, and I don't even think this one, uh, this one giant is no, nope, just out. Yeah. So, so no, no Christmas presents. We'll have to wait till the next turn. So. Yeah, that's pretty much where it with stands. With that, uh, we will go into Sun's Bayamat turn two. Yes, sir. The Gargan battle tactic is slay the warlord. The Gatebreaker fails Heroic Recovery and the Terrorgeist uses Heroic Leadership. The Gatebreaker casts Geminids of Olgish. The Arch Regent uses Redeploy, moving one inch. The Geminids affect the Ghouls, Vargulf, and Terrorgeist. The Man Crusher mob uses the Inspired Triumph and kills the Arch Regent. The Gatebreaker General deals four wounds to the Flayers on impact. The Crypt Flayers unleash Hell and deal ten mortal wounds to the Gatebreaker. The Gatebreaker deals five mortal wounds to the Crypt Flayers and Terrorgeist on impact. The Man Crusher unit uses Forward to Victory and makes their charge. The Man Crushers kill the Zombie Dragon. The Terror Geist deals 15 damage to the Gatebreaker. The Man Crusher deals 5 damage to the Crypt Flayers. The Crypt Flayers deal 2 damage to each Gatebreaker. The Gatebreaker uses all at attack and kills the Crypt Flayers. The Crypt Flayers deal 6 damage to the Man Crusher. The Gatebreaker kills the Terra Geist. Well, this is demoralizing. The Crypt Flayers deal 2 damage to the Man Crushers. The Gargans control one objective, complete their battle tactic with a monster, and kill a monster, scoring 6 points.
Okay. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas <laughs> to the Giants. Yeah. Um, yeah. All all things uh, seem to to go well for me. Santa um, said he was bringing gifts. He, he brought some gifts. So the first gift that we got was um, so my my uh, battle tactic was slay the warlord. Yep. I was able to to do that. Um, in my shooting and phase, with monsters. using my triumph, doing it with monsters. So my uh, unit of man crushers was able to bring down Jordan's uh, aberrant ghoul king general. Yep. Um, in the hero phase, I got off Jaminids, um and was able to tag most of the units. Um, although that didn't come into play too much um, because then I proceeded to get a number of charges off. So um, both Santa Claus and Miss Claus charged into the flares and the ghoul king on terrorgeist and the um middle man crusher made way so that the unit of three man crushers could charge into yep. the ghoul king on the zombie dragon um which was enough to polish him off um the man crushers with the plus one to hit against the character they just their output is insane so good um so that was it yeah yeah interesting um couple things Unleashing Hell with the four guys at the time, four or five, it was four. Did 17 damage. 17 damage, which again, in conjunction with minus two bravery, that's what you're looking for. Again, mm -hmm. didn't get nearly that kind of output the, the previous turn shooting, but unfortunately you had the amulet and saved seven of it, but it yeah. still just the potential there is pretty scary. And then the, the, the Terror Geist actually uh, did a decent amount of damage in combat with the second tax now i like i rolled all like fives for my ma tax those are all sixes. sixes that would be a dead myth. yeah dead yeah. gate so breaker that was close that was what i was hoping for because uh i failed the extra cp <laughs> and heroic like from like last turn for my general trait as well as heroic leadership i was so cp hungry i really shouldn't have done the redeploy so i could have done a pile you know pile an attack twice Right. But just the potential chance of denying your battle tactic. Really, in the long long run, I, again, shouldn't have bothered doing that because two points in this mission doesn't mean anything. Because round five, you're scoring 15 points for, the, for primary. So two yeah. points means nothing. No. Well, why don't we see where Let's objectives see where... come down? We'll go two on this end again. This coming down over here. One, two, five, six over here. Yeah. So right in the middle. Okay, so... Those are our round three objectives, and then we can roll priority. I dropped that, but we'll take it. And I got a one. It was enough. I rolled a two. So it's a Christmas miracle. And we'll jump. The show goes yeah, on. Jump into uh, Flesh Eater Courts, turn three. The Flesh Eater battle tactic is aggressive expansion. The Ghoul King uses Heroic Leadership, and the Gatebreaker uses Heroic Recovery, healing two wounds. The Ghoul King miscasts Black Hunger and takes one mortal wound. The Ghoul King summons a unit of ten ghouls. The Crypt Flayers deal two mortal wounds to the Man Crusher. The Crypt Flayers deal three mortal wounds to the unit of Man Crushers. The Man Crusher stomps, dealing three mortal wounds to the Flayers. The Man Crusher mob roars at the other Flayers. The Crypt Flayers deal seven damage to the Man Crushers. The Man Crusher deals three damage to the Crypt Flayers. The Man Crusher kills the Crypt Flayers. The Flesh Eaters control two objectives, achieve their battle tactic, and kill a monster, scoring nine points. Alrighty. <laughs> Alrighty then. <laughs> well, um, pretty much just trying to score as much as I can, keep the game as close as I can, just get as many points as I can. 
so I went for aggressive expansion because I could reliably take the two objectives just from the summon, uh, which I did. So I did my aggressive expansion. I hold two objectives, which actually two points for the tactic and then three each, putting me at eight points for the round. So I'm in and the lead. And a ninth point for, for killing, killing monster. monster. Yeah, that's right. So I'm winning this game. For now. <laughs> So uh, we're actually at time, so gonna have to, <laughs> so have, to call, have to call it, and the yeah. game ends there. Yeah. Um, but so no, unfortunately, uh, we will be playing on. Um, and I left point, the players in because I could shoot and then attack. Get the monster point. Really smart thing to do in that kind of a matchup is run away because they can't win that matchup. Yeah. And you what, have but, but what do I do when I run away? I just keep running, which is, I, I can't just, there's no gain in continually running and protecting my units for nothing. Uh, At least you got, by keeping them in combat, you yep. got the one extra point for a monster, killing a monster, which yep. like in a tournament type setting, that one extra point could put you up a little 100%. bracket, change your match up a little bit. So sure. that's helpful. And yeah, it's all tiebreakers and whatnot, so. Always good to go for all the points you can, which is what I'm doing. Yeah. But now we're gonna go into... Giants turn three, and yep. we're gonna finally f play with the festive presence here. Oh no, we with don't the want it. festive train. All right. so Sounds good. Well, we'll jump into it. Let's see what happens. All right. Giants turn three. The Gargan battle tactic is aggressive expansion. The Gatebreaker fails to use Heroic Recovery, and the Ghoul King uses Heroic Leadership. The Gatebreaker and the Vargolf both receive coal from the Festive Terrain, with the Gatebreaker taking one mortal wound and the Vargolf taking three. The Gatebreaker casts Flaming Weapon. The Ghoul King uses Redeploy, moving four inches. The Gatebreaker deals six mortal wounds to the Ghouls on impact, and the Gatebreaker General kills the Vargolf. The Gatebreaker kills the Ghouls. The Crypt Blayer deals three damage to the Man Crusher, uses Speeding Frenzy, then finishes off the Man Crusher. The Gatebreaker General uses All Out Attack and kills the Ghouls. The Gargans control two objectives and complete their battle tactic, scoring eight points. All right, so Giants were able to somewhat finish it off here. Yeah. Um, Very much finish it off here. Yeah. Uh, so Miss Claus charged in, cleaned up the ghouls, claiming my aggressive expansion battle tactic. Um, failed to charge because uh, redeploy, redeploy yep. um, and failed to charge over here because I didn't have any CP to reroll it because they're not characters. And over here, Santa Claus charged into the Vargolf, uh, actually killed it with the impact hit between the impact hits and the shooting and then if, polish off the ghouls behind him, but not enough to, You're not, not, not in range to claim the objective, but at this point with holding these two for eight, um, being up 17 to 12, uh, even if Jordan wins the turn, he's got no, nothing no, left. No, but let's just roll priority let's, just for- Let's roll for it. Counting four, four we tie, tie, I get you, priority. You win it, so, so you, you will get points. Uh, yeah, exactly. Nice so. So with that, I'll be able to score four points here. Um, there's a long shot chance. I'm just gonna roll it out quickly with a double pile in. I could kill that yep. one um, guy for broken ranks. So you're, ranks. you're shooting attack first. Oh yeah, I'll get to shoot. Yeah. So shooting uh, for nine. So I'll do uh, uh, two mortals. No, none because I'm minus two on that because I'm not within three. So no ah. mortals there. Charging. I would make my charge of, of seven, and then. This is assembling, I'm using the command point to double pile mm -hmm. in. That's oh, actually- That's a lot of wounds. Five mortal wounds so far. All right, up to um, nine. And, ooh, that wasn't great, but four at rend one. All right. I make at least two of these. 
Nope. nope. Wow, cool. He's dead. That's so huge, that's so you, huge. So, so you, I not only get broken ranks. Um, that's a three point swing there. I also- Oh, and you claim the, the objective. objective. Yeah. That's so, actually huge so here, in terms of- So here, actually, uh, round four, I will score um, eight points, a ninth point for killing a monster. Um, and your objective. And then three, oh no, two. Um, so 11 points here. Yeah. Um, again, to I'm winning. 23, 20, 23 oh, to 17. I don't know what it is, but I'm in the lead. That's all that matters. <laughs> wow. Okay. Um, but don't okay. end your games too quickly. Yeah. That's, that's, that's what this tells you. Well, to be fair, um, I think at this point, as soon as we go into your turn, yeah, it's your, it's going to be over. As long as he moves on this objective, yeah. And they move on this objective. I can't possibly take the points back from you. No. You're storing 12, 13, 14 with a, a conquer yeah. on your turn. And again, I can't take any points turn five. I don't know what that all adds up to, but I think you might streak the win here. I might've got it. Yeah. So uh, yeah, Giants uh, seem to do really well on this table. So I think they next do? time yeah. they play, you gotta we gotta switch switch up the boards it's and, so and take, take them out of the coals. Yeah. But no, to be fair, so I just looking at this match from a tactical point, Flesh Eaters really want to choose the engagements. And yeah. when you, so the things that obviously went wrong is you out dropping me, huge, um, and, and getting to choose the order priority. And then you went in turn two and getting to dictate the order meant yeah. I, I just like, I can only stay back for so long. Yeah. I could have stayed back longer and it would have just been a more boring game. Mm -hmm. um, and potentially the same thing happens a turn later. So I went when I had the output you know, to try and take down one of the major gardens, but didn't get the shooting, didn't get the charges, nothing nothing going for me. And I had to telegraph that I was doing that because of the battle tactic. Maybe, maybe because they there were so little, I, I pretend I'm doing something else to try and get you to not do the I, you know finest hour. Yeah, but, I, also, I also think that the part of the challenge here in the veins of Gur is if you do decide in your deployment and how you're going to take your turn one yeah. and you want to play heavy flank that is a risk that you're trading yes. off right like yeah. you went heavy right flank I went very heavy left flank well you to be were pretty even to be fair yeah I guess I guess I was pretty even but had a little bit more flexibility yeah. to this left flank Whereas if this objective hadn't dropped down here, had dropped yep. over here, I would have only had my general to bear yeah. on this objective yeah. um, versus you would have had way more units. Yeah. I, I think there, yeah. I, it's a much, much different um, outcome. Mm -hmm. so, and yeah, and a big, big thing too, part of the reason why I did shift heavy to one flank is I can't match up to your army on an even footing. I have to be, Outmanning you, out, yes. you know, I have to put double the points of my army into, into your army. So I have to take down one piece, then move to the next. I never got that chance with that priority order like we talked about. But that pretty much wraps it up for us here today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank Hope you. you enjoyed this battle report. If you did, don't forget to hit like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff. And if you want to go a step further, hit the join button to join our premium membership. And really, that's the best way to support the channel. Thank Makes you. this all possible. But no matter what, we'll see you guys soon in another battle report. Bye.